I first attended the Entrepreneur Experience in 2013 in Kinsale. The experience for me was pretty overwhelming. Everything I thought I knew about entrepreneurship was completely wrong. Everything I thought I had done in the past that I thought was successful wasn't really. And what I thought were the challenges that I would be facing weren't again. And really for me, what the entrepreneur experience did was completely change my perception of what entrepreneurship is all about. The impact that I got from the 24-hour event was listening to what I would, in some regards, maybe even call idols, those, those entrepreneurs that really had achieved huge things, great success, scaled huge companies and done amazing things, who actually told the stories of their failures. They told the stories that wouldn't be written in books. They're not things that you would normally get to hear. And it was completely open. It was unscripted. And what it allowed and what it, what it taught me was that despite the successes, the human challenges that go with that are, 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 are raw and that no one has had an easy ride at all, whoever they are. And that if you're going to join, go on this journey, you've got to be robust and accept that it's going to be tough. The alumni group of the Entrepreneur Experience, well, to start with, it's, it's pretty special. If you've been chosen to be part of this group, then you've, you've done something, you've impressed a few people. And, and don't underestimate how, how quality, what, what a quality uh, program this is, and, and well done for getting on it. And for me, really, this came to a head during the pandemic. Um, you will find, and I'm sure there's many of you seasoned entrepreneurs already, it's a very lonely place to be at times. And having um, colleagues and peers and people that you can speak to who understand what you're going through, who can offer you advice. And the other thing that the entrepreneur experience gives, which is quite rare, is confidentiality. Uh, everyone that I've dealt with, I can speak to freely and openly uh, and know that you know, nothing I say is, is, is going to be used in, 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 in any negative way. So I think once, you, once you've been accepted as part of this club, and I think that is, it is a club, um, you'll find a great support network. I, I, so I started the Entrepreneur Experience in 2013, and we are in what now, 2020, 21, nearly 2022. So I think um, my, my one piece of advice to any uh, entrepreneur that's joining this is, you probably have great ideas, great ambitions, and you're gonna change the world. And I'm still trying to do that. But my advice would be do it quickly because don't continue to try and build the best thing, the biggest thing, get something and get it done quick. Because if you try and go for uh, whatever's in your head right now, you will run out of cash, you'll run out of steam, you'll run out of everything. But if you can keep your ideas small and do it in bite-sized chunks, you will be a much faster uh, accelerator to success than, than, than trying to do the big vision you've probably got in your head right now. If, if I was to advise myself as a younger me, I think one of the things that I would say would be, don't think that everyone is going to steal your ideas. You need to get your ideas out real quick. You need to have it validated. You need to understand, is this the right thing? Because if you don't, you will go with your own gut feeling. You will spend a lot of money and you'll find out that it's probably not the right thing. And what the younger me did certainly was that fear of, I can't share this. Someone's going to steal my ideas and so on and so forth. Well, in actual fact, what I've learned subsequently is that Someone might try and copy your idea, but they probably don't have your experience of how to deploy it or implement it. And that, that is the, the, the learning that I've had. You know, there's lots of companies right out there right now that do something possibly similar to what we do, but they don't have the experience to get the outcomes that we do. So I think the younger me, I'd have wished that I might have bounced my ideas off people a lot sooner and I'd have made fewer mistakes.